drawing of each shape is useful in creating three-dimensional objects because not all of them are exactly straight in figure. Some of them have curves along the edge. Especially if the wings, an airplane has various moving parts around its fuselage. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. At tab on your upper left, click the pictures icon and select insert shapes. Click once on the vertices to form the edges of your free form shape. Click twice to finish drawing it. The wings of an airplane are used for generating lift. Its elements for manipulating the direction are to be drawn separately because they will be moving throughout the flight. Slash sorrel are lift devices in front of the airplane wings. Their purpose is to increase lift during low speed operations such as takeoff, initial climb, approach and landing. They accomplish this by deploying outwards and drooping downwards from the edge to increase the surface area of the wing. A. The airplane tilts on either side. These are wing elements at the sides that move in opposing directions. Interestingly, they can also move in the same direction like flaps during takeoff or spoilers during touchdown. They would be called flaperones and spoilerons respectively. So speed brakes are secondary flight control surfaces that drag the airplane. They can be deployed manually by the pilot while in flight or automatically during touchdown. The outer speed brakes on one side also move when its neighboring aileron is moving upward to assist the rudder in turning the airplane. Flaps are vices that extend significantly at the back of the wings. They increase the surface area of the wing like slats resulting in an increase of both lift and drag. They allow the pilots to fly the airplane at a slow speed. Flaps retract below the speed brakes when the flight has stabilized. To bring an object to the back, right click on it and select send to back. The wings of an airplane are greyish to reflect sunlight and heat from the fuel tanks and protect them from corrosion. By default, the shape fill and outline in are bluish. So we have to set the wing colors to shades of grey by setting the red, green, and blue numbers to 126 for the shape fill and 91 for the outline. To create the right wing, group the left wing elements together by pressing Ctrl A on the keyboard and uh, selecting the airplane background by clicking on it with the Ctrl button being pushed down. Right click and select group twice. Press Ctrl C followed by Ctrl V to duplicate the left wing. The newly copied left wing should be dragged of its left edge by clicking the small circle on the left side of that picture to the right side of the original left wing until a broken vertical line appears in between them. Drag the right side of the duplicated left wing to the left side of the original left wing. This will improvise the right wing. Move that newly formed right wing by clicking in the middle of that picture and dragging it to the right side of the airplane fuselage until broken vertical and horizontal lines appear to indicate a balanced alignment of the wings. Ungroup those right wing elements by right clicking on this group picture and selecting group. Then click ungroup afterwards so that those elements could be animated individually in the succeeding PowerPoint slides. Elevators are flight control surfaces that adjust the altitude of the airplane. These tail elements are mounted behind each half of the horizontal stabilizer. In this tutorial video, the elevators will be drawn in the same manner as the wing elements. The rudder is a flight control surface that adjusts the heading of the airplane in flight. It is a tail element that is mounted behind the vertical stabilizer. It is not used primarily to steer the airplane like a boat. It is rather used secondarily to assist the ailerons that primarily turn the airplane. You can select a certain portion of a picture by cropping it. To crop a picture, right click on it and then select crop at the bottom of the vertical menu. When borders appear on the picture, 
Click on one of them to adjust the margins and create a smaller picture from a bigger one. As what we have featured in the previous video called Microsoft PowerPoint, spinning an object. Just click insert on the top left and select pictures. Click insert picture from this device. Three size a picture, click on it and then select one of those small circles surrounding the picture to adjust the size. For the next video, we will be discussing about shadowing an object so that it will look like being moved along an axis.